We are IUIC Denver here for Cuts from the Street Christmas and New Year's edition. All right, we here downtown Denver to basically dive into the minds of our people to see where their mind is at when it comes to the holiday season. All right. We here with Cuts from the Streets. Um, I'm here with, what's your name, bro? Alfonso. Brother Alfonso. What's your name, sir? Carmen. And Carly. Okay. What is it? Carmen. 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 My fault. So Alfonso and Carmen. Okay. So question for y'all. We we are in the, what they call the holiday season, right? Yeah. Um, did y'all celebrate Christmas this year? Yeah. 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 Okay. Do y'all mind sharing how y'all celebrated Christmas? What did you do? Nah, I was with my family and some friends. We was eating some tamales, you know, and then we opened some gifts that they they gave us, and that's how I think. Okay, okay. Yeah. How did you celebrate Christmas this year? Um, so like I went to my aunties mm. and we like prayed mm. before everything, and then um, it's called the nacimiento. Like that's what we prayed on. It's like baby Jesus' birthday. Mm. And then we ate, and then we opened presents. Yeah. All right, what's, what's your name, bro? Uh, Q. Q, what's your name, sis? Queen. Queen. So we're talking about Christmas. Do y'all celebrate Christmas? Mm, not really. Yeah, not really. Why not? Um, I don't know. It's just so expensive and overrated. It's expensive? Yes. Why you say that? Because I feel like the pressure of the world into buying people things and buying everything. And every month it's a holiday. It's just exhausting. So what y'all did on the 25th? We relaxed with family and played games and ate good. And we did exchange a thing or two, but it wasn't like a pressure. We had to get anybody anything. So you do celebrate Christmas? I guess we have our own celebration. I guess we have our own celebrate celebration. Our family at the end of the year. Yeah. All like that. I think that's what we do. We really celebrate Christmas. So just, just at that same time. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Okay. My name is Josiah. And your name was what again? Ebony. Ebony. Okay, perfect. So, Ebony, tell me a little bit about hol the, the holiday season, if you celebrate Christmas, how important it is to you. To be honest, I pick and choose. I don't, I don't know. Um, it's not as important to celebrate the holiday for me as it is as, it is as important to spend time with family and friends. All right, let me ask you. Y'all believe in the Bible? Mm-hmm. I do. do. You believe the Bible, Alfonso? Yeah. Okay, you, you, you both think we should follow the Bible? Yeah. No. Yeah. 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 Hey, what you think? <laughs> yeah. Okay. When it comes to Christmas and you keeping that tradition going, what makes you want to keep that tradition going? Just the importance of family, honestly. It doesn't really tie into the Bible or Christianity for me. Um, because I personally don't believe that that was actual the day that Christ was born. Can you elaborate on that a little bit more? What you mean by it wasn't the day that Christ was born? And uh, oh, So we're going to get all the way into the Bible here. We're going to get into it. Y'all Christians? I don't know if I want to name it anything anymore. Why not? Because I, I hear that that's a thing in the black community. We be like Christian adjacent. Well, I'm Christian. That's what I grew up. I grew up Christian. I, I won't take that away. I won't take that away. What you had to say? I don't say I'm Christian, you know, I'm more spiritual than anything, but I will say, like, growing up in the South, a lot of younger people do tend to go to the church at a young age as opposed to when they get older. So They lean off it? Yeah, yeah, I don't really go to church like that, but, you know, I still represent God. You, okay, what, what? So, as representing God, do you think a Christian or somebody who represents God should be celebrating Christmas? Mm. Good question. Mm, no, not necessarily. You said no. 
shouldn't be celebrating Christmas. It's just like the American way. Like when you're in America, it's the American shit we do. Americanized. But I mean, it's the pagan, yeah. as they say these days. It's the pagan holiday. You said Christmas is pagan. It ain't got nothing to do with Jesus. It's got nothing to do with Jesus. Okay, what? It's just fun, you know. That's not the the what we do for it is the fun part, you know. Is is American tradition for us? I mean, I think the whites are a part of it. I think they made it up, mm. you know, because their Santa Claus is white. That's you know, true. that's true. What you think? That's uh, just white Jesus, white Santa. That's what it is. It's like yeah. They, it's a capitalist like it's a capitalist country so of course a day like christmas would be perfect thing to to you know have the whole whole country in tune to like if everybody's buying pointless gifts pointless toys you know what i'm saying when they could all year you could give somebody something right you didn't have to wait till the 25th of december to go and do something nice for somebody that you love so mm. when it comes to christmas when it comes to us celebrating it what do you see are some issues that we come across while we're celebrating? Definitely like, capitalism for sure. How much money do we spend on Christmas? A lot. A lot. <laughs> and who are we giving that money back to? Is it our people? Yeah. Oh, baby. Well, no, not really, because you're giving it to the stores. Right. Because they make more commission off you than the stuff you're buying. There you go. But does the Bible speak about Christmas at all? Do you know? Are you aware? I can't answer that question for sure, but I, I want to say no, because I'm, I'm I haven't read it front to back. If the Bible tells us not to celebrate Christmas, should we celebrate Christmas? Mm. No. No. Nah. What you think? I don't know. You don't know? Probably not. Probably not. Do you think God would be for you or against you, quote unquote, celebrating or like taking on that custom? Mm -hmm. <sighs> the thing with the Lord. Why you said it? Like that? <laughs> because I don't know. I, I, I wouldn't say he's necessarily. Uh, I would say he's probably against it. You know, that's not something we necessarily have to do or should be doing or supposed to do or has anything to do with him. So he, he would be against it. Okay. So it's you smart, Bethune Cookman. What you say? Yeah, I'll say the same thing. Same thing. So it couldn't have been uh, uh, December 25th. You agree, right? Well, it's like different climate. So like Africa is like a whole different place from here. Okay. Like we're we're in Denver, so right. we're in a we're in a mild high city, so it's gonna snow, you know? So you're saying maybe while it was cold over here, it was warm over there. Absolutely. That's basically what you're saying? Well, it's always warm over there. You know it does snow in, in Jerusalem, right? But like Jesus wasn't white. He was not a white. No, we agree, we agree. Yeah. We agree, we agree. Yeah. Okay. So, okay, what if the Bible specifically said, do not celebrate Christmas? <laughs> then I'll be interested. Yeah. What about you? Because I don't want to diss my family. Like, I don't okay. get to see them. I didn't see most of my family until Christmas. So it ain't about, it ain't, when I go for Christmas over to my uncle's house, for me, it ain't about, it ain't about none of that. It's just about seeing my family. Our people will struggle to 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 get with family you know the black community is one of the most destroyed communities right we don't have the uh structured family household a lot of our fa households are bro broken and divided and that's why you see a high rate of our people uh suicide homelessness you know drunk on drugs especially around this time because america puts it so heavy on us to celebrate these holidays right that god said don't celebrate the book of jeremiah chapter 10 and verse 2 thus saith the lord learn not the way of the heathen and be not dismayed at the signs of heaven for the heathen are dismayed at them so god is telling us not to learn the ways of the heathen meaning the other nations outside of us right outside of god's people for the customs of the people are vain what does vain mean what y'all think what you like, think that means? Yeah, they're gone. Uh, they're gone. They're what? Gone. Like, gone? Yeah. Okay, what you think? Like, the thing people practice is, are, like, not good. Like, yep. not in Jesus' name. There you go. What does vain mean? In vain, like, not, you don't, shouldn't be a part of that. You shouldn't be a part of it. What you think? What does vain mean to you? Not real. Not real. I like that. I was going to explain the next custom. For well, one cutteth a tree out of the forest, the work of the hands of the workmen with the axe. 
They deck it with silver and with gold. So they cut a tree out of a forest and then deck it with silver and gold. Uh, what kind of, what, what um, tradition does that sound like that we, we do today? That sounds like Christmas. Christmas, right? They deck it with silver and with gold. What do we do to that tree in our house? Decorate it, put lights, put decoration. Be decorated. Ornaments. Yeah. Ornaments. They deck it with silver and with gold. They fasten it with nails and with hammers that it move not. They are upright as the palm tree. So that's the reason why they fasten it. That's why, we, you know, the, the, the real trees that they have, you have the nails that screw into the bottom so they don't move. It's going exactly into that. What custom does that sound like? Christmas. <laughs> the tree where you put the gifts. Yeah. Uh, they are upright as the palm tree, but speak not. They must needs be born. Basically what is going into is that the custom of the other nations they they reverence Christmas, right? Because that's describing what they do. They take a tree out of the forest, they deck it with silver and gold, then they put it in their house and fasten it with nails so it doesn't move. Because and isn't it more of a European holiday? It, it, well, it really goes back to Egypt. Mm. It's an Egyptian holiday, but the Europeans took it over okay. and turned it into what we see today. The tradition of Christmas actually comes from uh, a son named Nimrod in ancient uh in ancient Babylon and they worshiped him as a god so what happened was America took pagan customs and they put better language on it like Christ's birthday Christmas is made like cutting down the the the, the plant that God made and stuff and made, like decorating it that, that's vain that is vain learn not the way of the heathen what does that mean that, that means don't do the opposite of the tradition of what we're doing. There you in, go. In America. There you go, Miles. So should we keep that custom called Christmas today? I mean, if you're reading out straight of scripture, you know, like, there's a possibility that we need to correct, you know, some things. What about you? What about you? Should we continue to celebrate? As a people, should we continue to celebrate that custom? No, I think... I think we should take our culture back and, mm. and let them know their culture ain't real. It's just, it's just there for money. It's there for show. It ain't, it's a fairy tale. Do you think that Christmas benefits the black, black families? And like, has it done anything to improve our, our conditions? I think the only holiday that benefits black people is Kwanzaa. This was a tradition in all of our families at one point growing up. You know, we, we can understand where y'all are at with with so-called christmas but at, it comes to a, a point in time where we either have to acknowledge what the bible say or we have to say to hell with what god say we have a decision to make so watch this beware lest any man spoil you through philosophy and vain deceit there's that word again vain deceit after the tradition of men after what after the tradition of men. Is it fair to say that Christmas is a tradition of men and it's not what God told us to do? Yeah. You agree? Well, yeah, because, like, Santa Claus is not real. Right. They made up Santa Claus, so they basically made up Christmas. God didn't, like, create it right. as a holiday, so we shouldn't celebrate it if we want to like follow the Bible. Shalom Israel, this is Bishop Nathaniel. I want you to know that you can view all our Sabbath classes live on IUIC TV. That's right, I said on IUIC TV. Download the app today. Shalom. So, after reading that, should we continue to celebrate Christmas? Nah. No? Nah. What you say? No. no. I don't know, because, like, uh -oh. Christmas been, like, like, the tradition of, like, like, laying down baby Jesus and, like, waking him up, like, been in my family for years. That's what we're out here really to do is show our people, like, we are more than what we think we are. Absolutely. But we're, we don't think high enough of who we should be. 
and we are the children of Israel. That's what that's so that's why we're out here teaching our people, showing up, trying to get into their minds. Like, why do you celebrate Christmas? Why do you celebrate these holidays? Because you are greater than what you think you are. After briefly learning about that, I mean, how does that make y'all feel moving forward? <laughs> I'll start with you, Alfonso. I'm uh, cheated. Yeah. Mm. Like, 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 they lying my whole life. Yeah. They've been lying our whole life, right? Yeah. Which, how make you feel? Um, it makes me feel like different about the whole like um uh, tradition of like the baby Jesus and like like his birthday and stuff. It's like right. they just made it so like it just sounds good but it's not even his holiday right and another thing is when did jesus tell us to celebrate his birthday uh, he didn't he didn't. Yeah, he didn't why do you think they gave us christmas when it has nothing to do with christ well like you said it was one man who mm. made christmas so maybe he just like thought about i don't know making a holiday on giving and stuff. i mean this is not a, not a bad holiday what but it's just not a hard remember according to god is bad because it said don't learn this way remember oh yeah remember that yes i remember there that you go way. um is there anything y'all wanted to add or comment on um don't believe on everything you know say what now don't don't believe in everything right don't believe everything you hear basically wise words what, what about you Sid? i think educate yourself like more on stuff that you're like being the customs because maybe you don't know the truth, you know? That's that's absolutely right. Or, or read the Bible. Yeah. You said read the Bible? Yeah, so they understand a lot of stuff. So last question. Do y'all know of the Feast of Dedication? No, no. What about you? No, I don't. So that's actually a feast day that's going on right now that's in the Bible. So why don't we know about that? I, I just don't even know about the feet, like what what you say, you know. Like I got you. Like, we we grew so we grew up in like a Christian denomination church that doesn't preach that. They mm. they preach they preach more offering offering uh, ah. sermons and all that, you know. So okay, hey, I grew up the money for themselves. The church I, got a big old mansion. The pastor right. got a big old mansion. Hey, guess what? I grew up in a church too. But ain't ain't the reason we at church is to learn about the Bible and learn about God? Absolutely, but <laughs> we're in a program system where people need money mm. and they'll do anything for money, you know? That's a good point. And so real quick, just so y'all know about that Christ celebrated feast of dedication, read. The book of St. John chapter 10 and verse 22. Mm -hmm. And it was at Jerusalem, uh -huh. the feast of the dedication, uh -huh. and it was winter. Uh -huh. So the Feast of Dedication is actually right now. And that's a feast day that God gave us to to commemorate uh, uh, us taking back our temple and destroying our enemies. What do y'all feel about that? I just got to go home and study. You know? fair. That's fair. What about you? What, what does that make you feel just hearing Feast of Dedication briefly? I think it, it tells me that there's a lot of fear in, in the hearts of, of those who took our culture away, uh, mm -hmm. the descendants anyway. So our bloodline's been here since before before America, right, right. when this was Mexico. So it's like, mm -hmm. to me, to me, it ain't, it just tells me like that, that information was, was kept for me on purpose uh, out of fear. All right, this has been a Cuts from the Street Christmas edition. All right, basically, we came out here, spoke to our people, asked them some questions about Christmas, why they celebrate it, what it means to them. And a lot of our people started off, you know, thinking that this is the birth of Jesus. But toward the end, most of our people acknowledged, acknowledged the pagan origins of this day. All right, so um, Lord's will, our people can look into the information more. Um, and with that, we say shalom. Nation is men leading by example. Nation is family. Nation is community. Nation is children with role models. Shoot
Ah! 